you guys learn as a team uh, from sort of struggling through week one last year against the NFCS team? Um, really, we can't take any more for, uh, sorry, we can't take anyone lightly, you know. Uh, we got to come out like we're playing Penn State or we're playing, you know, a Power 5 team. And, uh, you know, we it starts in preparation. You know, we got to come out and practice hard uh, Tuesday through Thursday and um, just come out and play our game. Is it difficult to do, to, to get that mindset? No, I mean, if you look at the bigger picture, you know, if we take it day by day, the goal is ACC championship and the national championship. So we can't take any practice lightly no matter who we're playing. Coach Narduzzi talked about Albany's line you know, being you know, pretty solid up front there. So does that uh, you know, get you guys excited just to come out against you know, one of the better defenses in FCS and, and show something? Yeah, we're just excited to play someone else besides you know, our defense. Yeah. And um, you know, they, they play with great fundamentals. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, there's not going to be a walk in the park. You know, We've got to come out strong, and we're just going to run down their throat. What's different, you think, this year about the running game? Well, what will be different? Um, you know, I've, we're a year wiser, you know, this is uh, me and Quadri last year. Uh, our offensive line are uh, outstanding with their technique. And, um, you know, we're more comfortable. We got our identity. You know, we know what we can do. We know what we're good at. And uh, I think we're a little bit more motivated now. You know, after coming off a five and seven season, you know, we got a lot more to play for now. What does it do for a group like your offensive line, you know, all those guys are 24, 23, 24 years old. You're older guys. It's a, it just as a unit, is it different than being with a bunch of guys that are maybe 19, 20, you know, fresher out of high school? Yeah, for them, uh, they're like best friends. You know, mm -hmm. they hang out outside of football. Yeah. So their connection, you know, is real strong. And um, that, it carries on to the field. You know, they, they communicate well. You know, uh, they're, they're assigned right. And, you know, they're just mature. They're a mature group of guys. You mentioned goals ACC and national championship and then I think the next answer you mentioned that you guys went five and seven last year I mean what, so what would you tell someone who's looking from the outside and, and maybe thinking like how can Pitt have goals that high when, when they had the season they did a year ago um really you just got to wait and see you know we got to go out and show them what we've been working on you know how hungry we've been all see off all season and uh, really it's just it comes down to just set the tone game one we're going to Set the tone for game two, game three, and we're just going to keep building on it. Chip in, chip on your shoulder a little bit. Exactly. Big chip. <clears throat> for you personally, having you and Quadri kind of co starters, is that something that motivates you, bothers you, or just. Uh, for me, it it's, it's makes us more comfortable. You know, we know, I know if I need a breather or he needs a breather, we got a back who come in and execute just as good as I can. And uh, we're both smart guys, we both know what we're doing. And I think we're, we're both going to have an awesome season this year. I think it was Coach Powell had a pretty good line in camp. He said, you guys aren't competing, you're completing. Does he tell you you complete each other? And what, is, what does that mean? It just means, you know, when one goes down, another one's up, and, and defense better be ready. You know, there's, there's no plays off no matter who's in the game. You know, we're going to run downhill, we're going to run hard, and we're going to bruise the defense. The guys still coming your pops? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, they, they check on me every day and ask how she's doing. A couple guys came up to my apartment the other day and got to see her and meet her for the first time. So I guess that's the name that's sticking. Everything's doing well? Everybody yeah. doing well? Yeah, everything's great. Great. How's that been a, a time management challenge for you? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the best I can to make sure I'm helping her out. You know, it's just, she's, she's not doing this alone. And uh, really for me, it's just I, when I'm there, you know, I'm helping, you know. I, I go to practice, I go to class, and then I'm there. So there's no breaks. You know, I just got to just suck it up and do it. You know, okay. That's the right thing to do. It's easy to notice a smile when you're saying that. How has it that changed you? You know, it, it, it humbled me. And, uh, you know, I, I value time a lot more. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not out here wasting time. You know, I'm not with her. You know, I'm missing hours with here, not being with her. And um, I just got to make it count. You know, I, I can't take plays off. I can't take days off because ultimately what I'm doing here is for her.